Well, good morning guys. Welcome to another episode of Off-Road Hub. This morning we are just north of Cook City, Montana. It's August and uh, as I think you can see it's snowing. I'll try to keep snow off the lens but who knows uh, some might get down there. So this morning we're heading up to Goose Lake. Uh, it's high up in the mountains uh, far away from everything and uh, obviously it's a little bit cold out here. So I already saw a deer. Uh, the, the guy at the camp last night assured me that there are no black bears around here, only grizzly bears. So don't have to worry about black bears. But uh, <laughs> so it's the Goose, uh, Goose Lake Jeep Trail, which is called on some maps. Uh, and it's just off the Lulu Pass Road. Uh, like I said, just north of Cook City. So, we'll see what we're in for here. All right, I'm not exactly sure what this is right here, but uh, it's just a big round area of rocks. It's kind of weird. The, uh, the road's right here, and then just this big mass of, of rocks that weren't put there by anybody. <clears throat> Interesting, maybe there's water there sometimes of the year. I don't know, just kind of cool. This is called Mud Lake. Despite its name, it has crystal clear water, just as you'd expect.
passing a lake here. It's called Round Lake. Um, of course, it's absolutely gorgeous and uh, the snow just adds extra effect. Found some signs in the forest welcoming, wel welcoming us to the Gallatin National Forest in the Absaroka Beartooth Wilderness. So that's pretty cool. This is an old sign, it's pretty worn out, but uh, you can see it says Jeep Trail here. And that's this kind of beige colored line. And you are here. So, and up there, let's see, up there, I think that's Goose Lake. So we gotta follow that beige line from where we are here up to Goose Lake. typically where I would I might uh, throw up an epic drone shot but uh, not in the snow that's probably not a good idea I'm not sure the drone is uh, I don't, I'm not sure the snow would make the drone too happy so another awesome amazing lake this uh, this scenery up here is just unbelievable I just ran into a hiker and uh, I asked him if he had just hiked up to Goose Lake for the day because he was on his way back down and he said uh, he'd been out here for a week climbing uh, one of the mountains out here by himself. So <laughs> that makes uh, what I'm doing look pretty easy. But uh, <laughs> anyways, just, just amazing, amazing scenery here.
There was this steep, rocky ascent after Star Lake, and the trail got just a little bit harder in general at this point. There were two ways to go here. I thought I'd give the harder one a shot. it here but there's a giant boulder behind me so now I'm a little wedged in between a rock and more rocks. At this point, I thought, I better just stop before I break something.
I can't really tell you how amazing this is or even show you on camera. There's a, a waterfall right here coming down these rocks. Here's the, uh, the trail right here it goes through this creek and this stream and valley. Just amazing stuff. And it's 32 degrees. The mud puddles uh, have just a, a little bit of uh, a little bit of ice crystals forming on the top of them. So I'm glad I made it up here on August 31st, because uh, I imagine this trail isn't open very much longer. Well, I saw some signs up here on the hill, and uh, I thought I'd come read them before I made the uh, made the slight water crossing. It turns out. Well, that sign's pretty clear, clo uh, pretty clear, closed year long to all motorized equipment and motor vehicles. So what I'm gonna do is see if I can fly the drone up over the hill there so we can all see Goose Lake. <laughs> the, uh, obviously some people are driving through anyway um, but that doesn't do anybody any good. The uh, tube was on the ground, so I picked that up for the Forest Service. As much as I hate Forest Service closing roads, we also have to cooperate, I guess. So, to the drone. Thank you so much for coming along with me on this trail. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more of this content every Monday and Thursday, please subscribe to my channel. I want to take you along on all of my adventures. I hope you loved Goose Lake Trail as much as I did. It's a special place we should all enjoy. Thanks again, and we'll see you on Thursday.